How do you change font size here in Illustrator? There's two different ways I would go about doing it. First, it depends on the type of text that you have in your document. If I press T, that's the type tool. And the type tool allows me to just click out here and start typing, if you will. So I've typed something really small. What I can do here is just go to my selection tool, as long as I have that type selected. Or I could double click in here and highlight any specific text I'm trying to change. But if I'm trying to change all of it, I could just select this box, go over here to my character panel in my properties panel. And you'll see right here, we have the font size. So we can make this 100 point and press enter. And now you can see we've changed that font size. We can also set it based on one of these uh, defaults here. And so there's 72. And I don't think we can click and drag, but one other thing we can do if you don't want to just guesstimate a point size, a lot of times we're out here designing and we just want to be able to scale things up. We can come over to the corner of our text and click and drag. Now, be sure you hold shift so you're not skewing your text like this. But if you hold shift while you do this, you can just scale your font up and down. So this will change the text size. When I let go, I can see now it's 170.53 uh, point size. So if I wanted to, I could clean that up and say, okay, well, that's close enough. It'll be 170 and I could keep it at that. Uh, you know, I do that a lot. I'll just scale it up till it's visually correct. And then I'll change the font size over here. So it's not some weird, uh, you know, 100th type font. Okay, so we've got this guy, but you might notice that when you have paragraph text, so if I click and drag with the type tool, I can create a text box. And if I go to type, I can fill with placeholder text. And this text is massive because we had it at 170 uh, points. So I'm going to do, I don't know, 25 and see what that is. And then I'll go ahead and fill this with placeholder text. Now we have an actual paragraph. You might notice if you try to use, um, if you try to use the character panel, it's totally fine. You can increase and decrease your font pretty easily here. But if you try to grab a corner, what it's going to do is just change the text box size. The font doesn't change. So there's another handy tool here in Illustrator called Scale Tool. And the Scale Tool shortcut key is S, and it will allow us to scale things up and down. So you can see that I can actually scale this up and down, and I can skew it unless I hold Shift. Again, always hold Shift to be able to scale things up and down. Of course, it's kind of locking that into a weird dynamic here, but if I hold Shift, it'll scale it up just fine. So there you go. I can scale that up. And uh, that's easy as well. Now there is a, with the scale tool, there is a center point here that I can change if I hold option or alt. So I could bring it down to the bottom corner of my text box. And of course that changes things on me, but I can scale it up. But once I change that anchor point, I can scale from that anchor point instead of from the center. Uh, so that scale tool is kind of finicky, but it is a way that you can scale paragraph text up and down, or you can just change the font size over here in your character panel. If you don't see your character panel, you can go up to window and you can go down to type and then character, or you can make sure your properties panel is showing and you should see your character panel over there when you select any font. That's how you can change font size here in Adobe Illustrator.